So most recently I've been working on a, on a group of scorpions that goes by two names. One is the club-tailed scorpion, and that's because the last segments of their tail are wider than, than they are in most scorpions, and it looks almost like a club or a bat, uh, where the beginning of the tail closest to the body is narrow, and as it goes towards the end, towards the stinger, it's, it's really wide, and we don't really know what the reason for that is. It may be something related to male-to-male -to -male fighting or potentially mating, but the other name for them is, I, I think, more interesting, and that's the hissing scorpions, and the reason they're called that is because they hiss. There's only a few scorpions that make any noise that's, that's audible to humans, and these are one of them. They're a, a really fascinating group. They're big scorpions, they're really present when you see them. People notice them right away, especially because they hiss. And we're looking at what's the evolutionary trajectory of these organisms been? How have they gotten into the patches of savanna? Where did they originate from? What's their ancestral habitat like? And so what we've been able to figure out is that they've evolved mostly in South America. And then they made it into the Caribbean probably through a land bridge that was a temporary land bridge. It only appeared for about two million years. And in those two million years, they were able to crawl up this land bridge all the way up to Cuba and Hispaniola. And so they're really a, an incredibly fascinating group, and, and through this revisionary process, we've described three new species, actually, as well as two new genera. So it's been a really fascinating process for me.